Exoretidon was not a dinosaur, but a cynodont, one of the mammal-like relatives that bridged the gap between reptiles and true mammals. Belonging to the traversodontid group, it lived during the late Triassic across what is now Argentina, Brazil, and India, when all were joined as part of the supercontinent Pangaea. The largest species, Exoretidon riograndensis, could grow nearly 1.8 meters long, making it one of the biggest plant-eating synodonts of its age. Its teeth were highly specialized for grinding tough plants, with clear differentiation into incisors, canines, and molar-like post-canines a step closer to the mammalian pattern. Fossil studies of juveniles reveal something remarkable. This herbivore likely gave birth to just one or two calves at a time. A strategy far more mammal-like than reptilian. Rapid bone growth suggests an active metabolism, and its wide geographic spread shows just how successful it was on Pangaea's landscapes. The world it lived in was warm, seasonal, and often harsh. Forests of conifers, cycads, and ferns covered much of the land, and Exoretidon likely played a crucial role in shaping these ecosystems, recycling tough plant matter back into the food web. As a large herbivore, it would have been both a keystone consumer of vegetation and a potential prey animal for the predators of its age. Though it vanished before the age of dinosaurs reached its peak, Exoretidon remains a vital chapter in our evolutionary story. An ancient cousin that carried the seeds of traits still alive in mammals today.